bunch of gamers, one channel, and tons of games. This must be Games and B. Games and B. Games and B. Games and B. Hey guys, Mac is here. Hey everyone, it's to make a Jumble Junkie, and welcome to Jumble Junkies, and holy shit, episode 14. They're just, they're just adding up, Alex, they're just adding up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, these underage kids, they're all adding up, oh, wait, what, wait, I'm sorry, uh, Creepy. forget that. You know, I actually, <laughs> speaking of underage kids, I was actually talking with, uh, some of the people in the chat room, and one of the guys, I think he was, he was Crazy Ken Bay on the YouTube, on YouTube, and he was all like, man, you know, can you guys give me, like, a suggestion of what game to, you know, to review for my channel? I was like, sure, I got one for you. Katawa Shoujo. <laughs> Old school Jumble Junkies right there. Old school. Man, I can't believe that was like pretty much like 14 weeks ago. That's crazy. Yeah, that's like when we like tried to have a segment where we just talk about a weird game. And after like the second episode, we're like, it's too hard to keep finding weird games. <laughs> <laughs> Way too difficult. But, you know, uh, it's, it's good, though. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, we've gone through our stages, but I think now we've got a pretty solid format where, you know, we talk about a few kind of goofy, fun, sexual. I know you guys, you pervies out there love the, the sexual uh, <laughs> news stories, which we've, we've got two today. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, like not to cut into you, but um, it's kind of funny because I was talking to a friend of mine and he was talking about like how we have like such a huge amount of podcasts, like a huge variety. Like he was, get this, like he was calling like Magus's podcast, the TPPVG is like the NPR of games and me. And, <laughs> and I think that he, uh, I think this is kind of fitting since you're a big fan of his, but he also said like, oh yeah, well, well, Tim is like the, you know, the Howard Stern of like games and me. I was like, yeah, I think he'll like that compliment. So I think I agree. Yeah, Howard Stern is my idol. I I don't go a single day of my life without listening to Howard Stern. Like, you think I'm a huge music guy and I love music. You know, I got you know th hundreds and thousands of CDs and records and stuff. But every time I step in my car, bet damn sure I'm listening to Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> nice. uh, I just loved him. I loved him. But uh, so, what what have you been playing, dude? Actually, I've only been playing one game this week and one game alone. It's because, uh, you know, it's it, it's come back into my life. And it's the game that actually got me really, really into the fighting game scene. And it's not Street Fighter. It's actually Marvel vs. Combat 2, which came out. And I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to get back into it. You know, but sadly, I'm one of those fucks who don't have a joystick on the Xbox 360. So tonight, after this podcast and after recording uh, Magus' podcast, I'm going to get my ass kicked by Tim and Magus. Yippee! Yeehaw! Yeah, dude, I was super pumped for that game, and of course, we're going to talk about that a little bit later for uh, Retro Reflections, of course, and uh, all I have to say is this week has been, like, Tim's, like, salvage slash <laughs> I, I, thrift store <laughs> slash, like, deal week for me. I've gotten so many games this week. Like, I can't even... I can't even fathom how many games I got this week. I pretty much went to, starting off in the beginning of the week, uh, I, I stopped at Goodwill because we had to do some paperwork for a house we're buying and stuff. Yay. So I was like, hey, let's stop, let's stop at Goodwill. I found 11 NES games for $11, one of them being Mega Man 1, wow. which blew my mind, which I didn't own, so I was super pumped for that. The other ones are a bunch of shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then, um, of course, I got my 3DO in the mail on Wednesday, so... Yeah, it's it's a 3DO. <laughs> well, the condition was perfect though, because I remember you raving about it like during the week, and you're like, "Wow, this is this looks like something that's never been touched before." It seems like did it seem like a collector actually owned it? Because it's kind of weird the way that they phrased the eBay, uh, you know, listing, didn't it? Yeah, I'm I'm willing to bet it was somebody that either just inherited one or, or or it almost seemed like one of these guys that goes to like these house auctions and just buys everything in the house and then just sells it this thing was was owned by somebody who never really played this or i'm thinking these guys like 
cleaned it thoroughly because it looks like it's never been touched ever. <laughs> wow. It's like brand new. Um, game wise though, it has been used because the games, there's, I don't have a single, you know, uh, original case or anything. All, all the jewel cases are pretty haggard. So mm-hmm. whatever, but, uh, Samurai Showdown, that's pretty much all I've been playing on it. And it's actually pretty decent port, you know, besides the few loading times, but you know, that's what I've been playing. And of course, King of Fighters 12, which is ungodly broken, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> wow. We won't talk about that. I spent $60, and I've played it maybe a total of an hour. <laughs> Wait, did you get that game after we did the live stream this past weekend? The day after we did our um, our podcast last week, because GameStop said that they had it in their ad, so I went, and they had no new copies, so I actually had to get a copy of like a, a case off the shelf, and then they took the, the fucking... CD out of the sleeve, and I'm like, uh, uh, you don't have any new ones? And they go, no. And I'm like, uh, I want a new one. He goes, why? It's the same thing. I was like, no, no it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's their quote unquote gutted copy. Ugh, I hate that. So I handed it, and I go, see the sticker bullshit you put on all your games? I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, peeled off fine. It looks brand new. Who cares? So yeah, it's broken. So uh, it's time for some sexy stories. <laughs> Michael Jackson screams, woo. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's start this one off with a bang, Alex. And I know you've been playing this game lately, and actually it hasn't gotten too great of ratings, but I still I'm, I think I'm going to pick it up once it drops in price because it just looks interesting enough for me. And I've seen a few uh, non-biased like bias reviews, you know, talking about the, the big wigs, <laughs> IGN. Um, and uh, we all know Edge. Edge is like another video game website slash webzine or whatever you want to call it um but edge is saying that overlord 2 has the sex scene of the year and it's only been seven months into the year and they're (laughs) saying it is but we haven't seen the competition like dragon age origins which we were speculating on the past jumble junkies if boobs were going to be in the game or not Mm -hmm. so um after viewing the video alex of this uh overlord 2 foursome (laughs) What do you think? I don't think a foursome could be beat in anything, to be honest. Like, I don't think I've even seen pornos that have, you know, only foursomes. I mean, I've seen, like, orgies, but not specifically, like, with just specifically four people. It seems, like, very planned out. But either way, like, just, it's not graphic. It's funny. It's kind of like God of War style funny, where... You know, it's it's like, you know, in God of War, there's usually a, a representation of, you know, of Kratos, like whether it be like a peeing Cupid or, you know, maybe like a candle or something like that getting rocked or something. But in this case, like the minions are like actually watching the thing happening, which is like totally fucking hilarious. And I think that, you know, it's, you know, let, let me get this out of the way. Like I've played, you know, Overlord 2 and, you know, Overlord 1 pretty much extensively ever since I got them and Overlord 2 with its performance issues is still not a bad game it's actually really really fun and to be honest like I'm actually looking forward to getting one of those wenches for my castle because I don't know if you know this dude but the game is basically all about you controlling these small minions and stuff to basically fight for you you yourself you're pretty much fucking useless if you do it yourself you're gonna die but if in combination with these other minions you can actually take down like even the strongest enemy which makes it kind of like a hybrid action strategy game which you know i i guess i don't want to say popularized by pikmin because they just started the genre (laughs) that's what i was gonna say (laughs) you know but you know in this case you know like imagine captain olimar being able to fucking like you know kill people and shit as opposed to just commanding those stupid fucking pikmin and you know and the cool part about it is that you know in the first game especially which i think i like better than the second game this is the second game is actually a lot shorter the first game is all about you like trying to build up your castle because people have pillaged it and totally like stole all your shit so the objective of the game is to not only conquer the world or the countryside and whatever the country or whatever but also like build your castle back and it's really cool because you actually see things getting built up and of course eventually you'll have a handmaid in there to take care of your castle and in this in this game fuck <laughs> it was funny i was uh i was playing some games with magus the other day and he, i was just talking about like i don't see alex on xbox live too often he goes he was playing this weird game called overlord 2 and i was like ah <laughs> <laughs> the, the game i mean it, it did remind me a lot of pikmin when i first saw like you know the review of it looking at it and looking at the cover even looking at some screenshots and stuff 
the, the main guy is like this huge, big, burly guy, and it actually kind of reminds me of Oblivion for some reason. <laughs> like, I just pictured like the most badass Oblivion guy. That's what he would look like. But um, definitely a game I'm going to pick up eventually uh, once it drops in price. Uh, I mean, not to get off too off topic here, but the uh, speaking of the, the sex scene here, it, it's like, like Alex said, it's it's pure like humor. It's there's no like you know, cock going in the vag or anything like that. There's no, there's no hot coffee mod here. You know, it, it's just you know f- three sluts laying on a bed, be like, hey baby, have a good time, and just the gremlins peering in and going, go master, go, and then, like <laughs> the, the whole screen's like shaking and stuff, and then he walks out and kicks the minion. You know, it's funny. Yeah. So, it's it's it it's t- 